Local and state police in Rhode Island made more than a dozen DUI arrests on New Year's Eve. Eyewitness News reporter Molly O'Brien asked law enforcement how increased patrols kept the roads safer over the holiday stretch. Molly joins us now live in studio with more details. Molly. Caroline, members of the DUI task force amped up patrols for New Year's Eve and it paid off. There were no DUI crashes reported, but police say 16 arrests is still too many. 50 local and state police officers work together as part of the New Year's Eve DUI task force. The traffic safety unit's job is to create deterrence through arrests. Between 7 p.m. and 3 a.m., they arrested 16 people for DUI. Unfortunately, there were 16 people who didn't see all the press that we've had out there and knew, knew that we were going to be out there actively enforcing the, um, the DUI laws, and they made the bad decisions and they paid the price. Sergeant Don Barrington says police know the high cost of a DUI arrest. We understand the seriousness of arresting someone for a DUI, but that still pales in comparison to hurting themselves or someone else, and we will do that if we have to. Increased presence in DUI enforcement helped keep the road safe. No DUI crashes or DUI fatalities reported for the night. But with DUI arrests still happening, Sergeant Barrington says more work needs to be done. Society as a whole needs to do better. This isn't a problem that the police department are going to solve by themselves. RIDOT State Police and local law enforcement will continue to combat impaired driving year round. Don't don't kid yourself. We're out there all, all the time in all the places. Federal funding helped create a new branch of the Rhode Island State Police DUI Task Force, which started work in Bend November. In the first month, the unit arrested 49 people for DUI. Live in the studio, I'm Molly O'Brien, Eyewitness News.